Today we're back in Kanopshaw to renovate what was once a very uninspired townhouse into the magnificent Bistro Ibn Safir, which is a very ironic name given that this is one of the few buildings in Kanopshaw that doesn't have any blue in it. So as I said this is a renovation but I would also consider this a quick build with that I mean it didn't take an entire day to build this, this took like 3 hours which really shows how I build when I'm inspired and when I'm not inspired because the original building took an entire morning and I would say that the renovation looks a hundred times better of course you guys can put judgment on that at the end of the video whether you like the original building or the renovation but I would say the renovation looks a lot better because the original building and yeah again it was really uninspired I wouldn't say it was ugly but it just it lacked that pizzazz that Ganabashar usually has and also yeah, this building is not one of those buildings where it's Oh, Poison Blade is building another tavern or inn and he doesn't want to implicate himself as an alcoholic so he's going to call it something different. No, this building was supposed to be a bistro right from the get-go and also Yes, it was supposed to be this yellow right from the get-go. I didn't change things here. But the inspiration was a building from NO 1800 from the New World section. So that's Latin America, South America, Central America. So a little bit of like that Spanish Portuguese style. Which does of course mean very colorful buildings in a lot of places. And I really like that. But then of course Kernalbashar isn't Spanish or Portuguese or Latin America. So... I needed to kind of change things to make it fit into Kernabshar. And the only way that I did that was making the windows arched in a way that was more reminiscent of like Arabian architecture. The yellow color actually, I didn't mind that as much. That actually worked with Kernabshar already. And again, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't make this building blue. Especially given the name Ibn Safir. Uh, yeah, I should probably make it like blue because then the name makes sense but I like the name I didn't want to turn this building blue so here you go a very yellow building that doesn't make sense with the color and also I am now so happy with the Africa pack not so much the animals screw the meerkats like burn those things even though I have a plushie of them looking right at me right now but yeah burn the meerkats but the building pieces are great, especially the plaster bricks, because I always, well, I call my way of building the Minecraft way, which is making your walls sort of have depth, but not really looking clunky or just looking very big, I would say, like, I basically built columns or in this case used this like pattern brick on the sides and before the Africa pack I couldn't really do this or at least I could like there is a piece in game that does this but it was always this like marble white and I don't like well, I would use it. I would use it maybe in like the actual city of Kanamshar where there's a lot more marble and such. But this is a building in the old town of Kanamshar. There's not going to be any marble here. So I needed something that looked like a brick. Still looked pretty, but looked just like a regular brick. And the Africa bag delivered on that. Even though it is a little bit more piece heavy, but just it looks so much better. And I was so grateful to not have to use columns like i will still use columns i still think that the buildings that i built with columns look great but it's just great to also have that diversity in buildings but yeah so this building also it was always supposed to be a bistro but this actually makes me come to the second point of this and that's can is very funny to build in or very weird to build in because all of my projects for Hala, the secret mystery project they're all supposed to be set in like the renaissance slash medieval era canom shark is also supposed to be set in a renaissance slash medieval era how the hell does a bistro fit into that like i'm sure that there were like precursors to bistros in the medieval slash renaissance era but i would say that they are more like a 17th 18th century or 1700s 1800s kind of thing like they popped up a little bit more there and then 
yeah, with the Parisian style that I'm trying to put into Kernelbshire. Kernelbshire is just, in general, in this like weird space. I would say Kernelbshire is very much more technologically advanced than Valhalla. Well, Valhalla is also like at farthest corners, so maybe like the central city, because Valhalla is just a valley in Noskodos, but the central city in Noskodos probably is a lot more technologically advanced than Vala. But Kanabasar is just give the place 50 to 100 years and you would have an industrial revolution in Kanabasar. I'm not going to go there. Like I'm still like trying to like keep Kanabasar from going too much towards that. But it's like, it's it's slipping away from me. Like I'm trying to yank it back into the Renaissance era, but I keep getting inspired by Anno 1800 and that doesn't work. And now I also saw reference pictures for skyscrapers or high rises in Anno or 1800 and I'm just like I'm going to lose it <laughs> well I've already lost it but I'm going to lose the setting of like the medieval slash renaissance era but in a way it also of course makes sense that like some places are more technologically advanced some places just have that and other places are a little bit more not backwards but are more following the general trend of technology and such can be sure just well most of it is coming down to Poison Blade wanted to build this, so Poison Blade is going to build this. So, yeah, it's funny, like, especially with Canal Sar, I have so many renovations planned just so that the entire project starts making sense. Like, when it comes to the Royal Palace, oh boy, there's probably not an era or area that I'm not going to touch. Like, there's so many renovations planned in that area. The Mirage Mountains are pretty much unscathed when it comes to that, but... Oh boy, the Royal Palace. I'm probably going to show you guys a teaser of what I've planned for the Royal Palace Wednesday, but uh, it's it, there's a lot going on there. But anyway, back to the bistro. I really like this building. Like I constantly say that with like all of my builds, but here it's really just like all of the things sort of came together. Like the entirety of Keanu Bishar's architectural styles sort of just came together in like what I want the city of Keanu Bishar to look like with this building. Like it has that, well, 18th slash 17th century look or at least that. I've also been watching a lot of like videos on Assassin's Creed Unity. I really want to play that game right now. I probably shouldn't because I bought Odyssey, I bought Origins and I played like two hours each in them or an hour and a half and then I stopped because I realized I'm just into those games just to look around I'm not really interested in the story so I am like I hope that there would be like for Origins and Odyssey I think there's like this exploration mode that you can buy where you can just walk around I should probably do that with Unity but there's not a exploration thing for Unity so maybe I should just just stick to videos. But anyway, back to the builds, because I'm way sidetracked here. But the reason why I wanted to do a renovation right now is because I'm building something huge in Terra Nova. Actually, it's so huge that we had to postpone or delay the episode of Terra Nova. I begged Silver for me to be allowed to do that. He gave me permission, so yeah, I kind of underestimated the amount of work that that build would need and I still wanted to have a video this week, so then I realized, huh, I can do a renovation pretty quickly and then also if I don't get sidetracked in the renovation, it can be even faster, so that's how the Bistro Ibn Safir came to be. And also, like, this is a little bit more, I would say, medieval era. This, like, shop window that I'm building right now. I saw it on a video of somebody making, like, a miniature, and then I was just like, huh, so that's how those things work. Well, that's how those things kind of come together. Because I have wanted to make shop windows like these before, but they always just looked somewhat off so seeing somebody like on a miniature make this made it really easy for me to like put things together of like oh i need to make this look like that i need to make that look like that and then it worked like there would be wooden panels alongside the doors so that you can like display your wares but then at night you can close them back up and they kind of act like shutters i didn't do that because well the street that is 
building is on is already very narrow. So like I don't want my like I don't want Keanu Shy to feel well it would feel claustrophobic because it's very much like high rises everywhere. So yeah, Keanu Shy is going to be kind of claustrophobic, especially the suburbs of Keanu Shy. I'm saying suburbs and not slums because Kieran Abishar is so obsessed with appearance, lore wise and such, they wouldn't have slums. They would even in like the most dangerous and most rundown areas, they would try and make it as pretty as possible. And I actually wrote it down so much into the lore of Ken Abishar that there is now, well, there has basically always been this like rivaling city of Colonia, which was, well, it used to be like the capital of Ascentium back when Ascentium was a colony, hence the name Colonia, coming of course from Col Colony. But Kayan Abishar and Colonia always now have this rivalry because Kayan Abishar is now the capital, it's the biggest city, but Colonia is like, they are constantly trying to be like, I'm the prettiest city, no, I'm the prettiest city, I'm the biggest city, no, I'm the biggest city. I'm the richest city. No, I'm the richest city. And that like here in Kanamshar and Colonia, it actually works in advantage to the people living here because they keep trying to make things as pretty as possible. They treat like they keep trying to improve the slums because it's just like, huh, I have built my slums into a paradise. How do your slums look? And so they of course also don't call the slums the slums. They call it the suburbs. But yeah, there's a lot of lore in a way behind buildings in Kamshar. Like, uh I wish I could like have like plaques in Canon Shard to show you guys lore, but then I also want to make Canon Shard that you kind of feel that there is lore behind it, but you don't need to have the lore to really enjoy looking at Canon Shard because I think most of the animals I've replaced, but I there's probably still a lot of animals that died when the what was it again? The Africa Pack got released. No, not the Africa Pack. It was an update before that that basically killed off all the animals in Kenlamshar. I didn't or don't really miss them. But anyway, that's it for today's video. As I said, you guys can pass judgment right now on whether you liked your original build more, which kudos if you really liked the original building more, or if you like the Bistro Ibn Al or Ibn Safir. Maybe I might name it Ibn Al Safir. But yeah, most ironic name possible considering that this building didn't have any blue in it compared to any other building in Kanabasha. But that's going to be it for today's video. So again, you guys can pass judgment on the renovation. And I hope to see you back in the next video. There's the like and subscribe button, of course, if you want to see more. And there's the notification bell, but that one doesn't work, period. Anyway, hope all of you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.